there, guys. Flooding my 14 there. And we're back with some more uh, Pokemon. The uh, trading card game. So uh, I was actually planning on doing this in between episodes. Uh, you know, just kind of going around and looking for Imakuni. I was actually planning to do it after the we fight the uh, gym. I, I'm sorry, the club. The club leader. But uh, yeah, I went over here to the water club to... Uh, let me grab my keyboard here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I went over here to the water club to trigger him being, you know, fought. Uh, and uh, yeah, Imakuni was right there, so... Yep, let's, uh, yeah, let's duel him. Because that's always, you know... Uh, a lot of boost, boost tracks. I'm the super musical star, Imakuni. You dance, la di da, la di da. Hey, move those feet. Cards, you want to duel me? Okay, but if I win, you dance. Would you like to duel? A one match duel with six prizes, whatever that means. Oh, and I forgot what deck I had up, but uh. Oh well, <laughs> we'll just roll with it. Duh. All right, we get the Funky B for Imakuni. Ooh, I have the wrong deck for this because uh, he runs like a Psychic deck, right? Uh, whoops. Well, at least I have a lot of basic Pokemon, so... Uh, ooh, did not realize I had the Nidoran deck, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, Imakuni might actually beat us here. Well, <laughs> it does help that he's going to try to confuse his own Pokemon there. Blue Poke. Okay. Wow, we only have one grass energy? Mm. Well, this hand could be definitely better, but uh, I guess we'll just horn hazard in the meantime. Okay. Alright, Imakuni. As long as you don't evolve that slowpoke, I think we'll be okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> and he did it right away. Oh, man. Well, okay. I guess we might lose here. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, unless I draw, like, a Kalvalos Pokemon or something. It's not looking too good. Well, Pinsir does help, honestly. Uh, let's throw down Pinsir. And I guess we'll switch him out to uh, Farfetch. Because uh, uh, Farfetch doesn't have our, uh, our weakness. But in the meantime, I guess I'll pump up uh, uh, Pinsir that's on the bench. You know, once I finally get some energy. So Yeah, that's not good. Not good. Shuffle to that's that's what I need right now. I need some maintenance. The fire fetch, the fire fetch. Oh wow, and he got the heads. Yeah, sure, you get your heads on your leak slab. Where's my heads, man? Okay. Yeah, as much as I do wanna put this energy on. Oh, I have a Nidoran female. I didn't even notice that. As much as I do wanna put this on Nidoran and try for Horn Hazard, the the wiser move here is to probably start pumping up Pinsir. You know. Yeah, unfortunately, he is going to start pumping up his Farfetch, so... Okay, well, we got two now. For, uh, what you call it. So, we'll use this Switch Trainer card. And, uh, we'll go with Iron Grip. Oh, nice, we got the Paralysis. I, I kind of needed that, honestly. Nice. So, he might start using Slowbro's Power. Oh, he is going to use it. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully, we can draw two more energy, then, in the next few turns. That way we can use a uh, guillotine, yeah. Well, Scyther! <laughs> Scyther is good. Uh, it's mainly good because... Ooh, another paralysis. We're getting lucky. Uh, mainly Scyther's good here because it's not weak to Psychic, so... That's good. In case, uh, uh, Pinsir goes down here. Well, he's got all the energy for Pop Smash, so... Oh, okay. That, that helps. That helps. Uh... Alright, Iron Grip. If nothing else, we have enough energy. Oh, three in a row. So lucky. Okay, the comeback is real. If nothing else, at least we have enough energy for me to use a Super Potion now. Oh, and he didn't transfer, uh... Huh. He didn't transfer any of the damage. That's strange. Uh, well, we can actually knock him out right away here. So let's put this energy on. And... Oh, it just tears apart the screen. Guillotine, baby. All right, first prize for us, made around female, okay. All right, ooh, nice. All right, well, we'll just uh, keep attacking here. Guillotine, nice, 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 nice. Slow brook, slow brook. Got another energy, that's good. Uh, uh well, that's fair, that's fair, Imakuni. I mean, I got like three heads in a row. It's only fair that you get at least one, you know. Uh, do I have a switch card? No. Okay. 
Well, who should we pump up in the meantime? I guess Scyther? I'll pass. Can't attack when you're paralyzed or retreat or anything, so, you know. Nice. Well, we win. Uh, because this is his last Pokemon, right? Whoa, that was a weird sound. Did you guys hear that? The game made that real loud, like, piercing sound. Oh yeah, this is his last Pokemon. Okay. Nice. That, that went about as, you know... Honestly, I thought we were screwed since he evolved right away, but, uh... Yeah. Luckily, we had Gust of Wind. I think Gust of Wind saved us there, ultimately. Hey, you're pretty good. I'll give you this booster pack. So don't tell anyone I lost, okay? Okay. Nice, so we get the booster packs. Okay. Zapdo- Oh, yes, another one of this. Ooh. I don't know how many Zapdos I have, but... I wouldn't mind building a lightning deck eventually with, like, a lot of Zapdos in this game. That'd be pretty good. This is the same one I showed you guys with, like, Thunderbolt, so... Uh, anything else in here? Uh... Rabbit Habra. Rabbit. Carp, carp, carp. Okay. What else we get? Uh... Ooh, Pokemon Breeder. Rapidash. War Turtle. Yes, Lee. Smells proud. Okay. What else? Mystery? Ooh, we get this kind of Zapdos. Okay, I don't know if we have this or not, but let's check this one out. This one I don't like so much, but... It's... It's different, so for four, you do 40 damage, then for each of your opponent's pitch Pokemon, flip a coin. If heads this attack does 20 damage to that Pokemon, you don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. So I guess that's the benefit, and then Zapdos does 10 damage times the number of tails to itself. Um, you can still combo this kind of like I was talking about with the other Zapdos with Defender, uh, but honestly, if you get a lot of heads, 20 damage to each bench Pokemon can add up, so yeah, it's interesting. Double colorless, that's very good. Like a time. Oddish, oddish, oddish. Okay. Alright, laboratory. Okay, last. I think we've had that before. Porygon, Onyx, Tentacruel. And then, mine, mine. Okay. In both cards and dance, soul and rhythm are secret. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Maybe I'll become a poet. Alright, see you, Makuni. Alright, sweet. So, uh, let's see how many Zapdos cards I have, just for curiosity. I'll probably switch to this deck for the gym, the Burning Soul. Obviously, my, uh, Oasis deck, you know, normally what I use War Turtle, not too good in the, uh, Lightning Club, so that's why we're using other decks right now. Uh, what was I looking at? Yeah, Zapdos. How many of the good Zapdos do I have? Uh, oh, oh. Ooh, I do have four. Ooh. Okay. Okay, um... Hmm, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe in between episodes, I'll build like a lightning deck. How many Electabuzz do we have? So we have one of this, the promo one. Oh, is that it? Just one? And, ooh, okay. Well, I would still like to build a... How many Defenders do we got? Defender, Defender. Um... I don't have any Defender. Oh, okay, I do have two. Okay, two might be good enough. Two might be good enough. Okay. But for now, you know, we're just going to continue from what we were doing last episode, now that we got Ima Kuni out of the way. So let's go to the club. Oops, why did I go to the challenge hall? I don't know. Let's see if there's anything going on here since I came over here. Uh, yep, not being held right now. Okay. Oh, you're the host. Okay. All right. Well, let's, uh, you know what? It is a new episode. Let's see if Ishihara wants to trade anything. Uh, there aren't any cards I want or can trade at the moment. Let's trade some other time. Okay. And usually I'll check him, you know, every episode to see, you know, if he wants anything. But, uh, well, without further ado, let's head up here. My lightning deck's the greatest. How about it? Want to see how good it is? Would you like to duel Isaac? Sure. We should have time for this. The Sparks will five with six prizes. I'll show you what my lightning deck can do. And Lightning Club Master Isaac Zapping Self Destruct Deck. Here we go, guys. Gym time, and there's that epic music. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. No basic Pokemon. Oh, well, let's see what he's got. Ah, Electrode Potion. Oh, okay, you know, Electrode is kind of good. Ooh, that's kind of wild. Hang on. Let me turn this down a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, Charmander, Ponyta. Voltix, uh, hmm, uh, well, we do have Charmeleon, maybe I should start with Charmander, sure, and we'll put everyone else on the bench, 
Well, we'll just put Ponyta for now. Alright. Ah, we're going second. Okay. King of Scott. King of Scott. Well, I'm assuming he's going to put energy and start fetching. The good part about King of Scott, though, is it does take, like, a lot of energy to start attacking. So, basically, we're safe. You know, Charmander's not going to take any damage while I build it up. So, that's, that's the benefit right now for us. Hopefully, he doesn't have any double colorless energy also. Uh, another Vultix. Okay. Put this on Charmander. We'll put one Vultix on the bench. And, uh, yeah. We'll just keep scratching. Not gonna use Ember because we want uh, Charmeleon eventually. So, uh, okay, he's not even building up Tangaskana. He's just <laughs> he's just building up his other Pokemon. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'll put this on Charmizzle and Charmeleon. And we got Gambler, but I want to use Super Potion before I consider using Gambler. Uh, we'll go with Slash. Uh, that way I don't have to burn any of my fire energy right now. Hmm. Bench? Okay. Let's see what he's got on the bench in the meantime. Another fire. Good. That way I do feel safe using, uh, Flamethrower here. Uh, Electabuzz. Ooh, he's got two of these. Ooh. Yeah, this Electabuzz is very good. Thundershock, 10 for 1, and can paralyze. Thunder Punch can do 40 if you get heads. You know, if tells. It still does 30, and Electabuzz damages itself, so... Uh, hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll just use Slash. I don't actually, you know, feel threatened by this Kangaskhan. And I don't mind giving him an extra turn, you know, that's... Yeah, yeah, okay. That way we save the the extra energy I have. Ooh, we can get a free knockout on something. Okay. Uh, let's knock out Kangaskhan first, though, here. Uh, but that way, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, that way I have an extra energy for the Super Potion. Energy. Good. Good, good. That way we can start pumping some other stuff up. Bill. <laughs> Alright. Thundershock, please don't get hits. Good. Good. Alright. And as far as this Electabuzz goes, um, I, I mean, I could use Gust of Wind and get a quick knockout on Voltorb. But ultimately, this thing didn't paralyze us, so I think I want to, uh, basically, I want to do as much damage to this thing, you know, while I can. I mean, he doesn't have two energy on it, so this is the perfect time to, uh, uh, defend her, huh? Maybe I will use Gust to win after all. Okay, okay. You know what? You know what? You know what, Isaac? We will use Gust to win after all. Okay, so let's switch out to Voltorb. Yeah, you don't have the Defender on your Voltorb, do you, buddy? Okay, and we'll attach this extra energy to Charmeleon. And Flamethrower. Kaboom! See ya, Voltorb is down. Gamble. Good. Good. Back to the healed Electabuzz. Ah, he had a potion anyway. Okay. Uh, let me guess heads. Oh, wow, he's getting really, really unlucky with that so far. Okay. Uh, let's use Bill. Magmar Energy Retrieval. Good, good. Um, how many do I have in the discard? Hmm, one fire? Well, actually, since I have two Energy Retrieval, let's throw Magmar down. Since I have two, I actually will use Flamethrower here. Um, yeah, just for the extra damage. So, there we go. Next turn, we'll Energy Retrieval and Super Potion. So, Thunder Shock. Ah, now he gets ahead. It's okay, okay. That's fair. That's fair, though. All right. So, Bill, good. Do we, oh, can we draw Charizard? That'd be awesome. No. Two fires, though, is good. Two fires is good. Okay, so I'll throw this. I'll throw this on and heal to kind of dissuade him. Because uh, for whatever reason, he's not going for Thunder Punch. So maybe by staying fully healed, he'll, uh, you know, he'll just kind of not want to go for Thunder Punch, which honestly helps us a lot more. Okay, you, get, you got Magnemite. Okay. Ah, man. I'm going to need you to quit getting heads there, buddy. Uh, okay. Magmar. Uh, let's throw this... I have a feeling Charmeleon will eventually get healed at least for one turn. So I'll put an energy on uh, for in case I want to do Flamethrower, and we'll end our turn. Alright. Magnemite. Thundershock again. Good, good. I I knew I had a good feeling. I knew I had a good feeling. Alright. Another energy. Good, good. We keep drawing energy. Uh, let's pump 
pony so now pony so's ready for uh it's flame charge or whatever the slash no need to burn an energy here item finder hmm okay oh we can get back our super potion Ooh, magneton uh oh this could be bad this could be very very bad thunder wave oh well okay let's check out this magneton attacks because i'm not too sure what it's got um, Thunder Wave and Self-Destruct, wow. Okay, so Thunder Wave. Uh, if heads, it can paralyze. Self-Destruct, wow, 80 damage, holy smokes. Just 20 damage to each, okay. So, if I leave Charmeleon in, like, even if I Super Potion, uh, he can knock out Charmeleon. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's, uh, Energy Retrieval first. I got two Gambler, right? Okay, well, pitch a Gambler. Take back two fire. We're gonna play a little strategic here, and I'm gonna, um... Okay, I'm gonna put this energy on Magmar. I'm gonna... Because I kind of want Charmeleon to survive, is the thing here. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna retreat Charmeleon for one energy, go into Magmar. I'm uh, gonna use Item Fighter in case he has, like, a gust of wind. So, uh, we have a Vulpix on the bench, right? Okay. Let's discard... Vulpix, and we can discard one fire, right? Yeah, discard Vulpix and a fire. Take back the Super Potion that's in our discard pile. Use Super Potion on Charmeleon. There we go. And, um, yeah, because Charmeleon can ultimately do, um, okay, okay. I do have two energy for next turn. So, yeah, Charmeleon could ultimately deal the finishing blow with 50. We're just using Smokescreen Magmar here to kind of protect us from self-destruct. But if he wants to self-destruct anyway, that's fine. Okay, he's gonna go for it. Yep, self-destruct. Is it gonna fail? Okay, okay, you got it. Okay. But, I mean, that's fine with me because since we switched and everything, uh, we do get to keep our Charmeleon, which is what I wanted, so. Yeah, Ponyta took 20, that's gonna hurt. Um, but we both get a prize from this, so. Okay, uh, we'll go with, uh, Charmeleon up in here, like the buzz. okay. Oh, and now it's like the buzz is one hit away from Flamethrower, that's perfect, okay. And we drew another Super Potion, that's great. I'm really, really glad I decided to save Charmeleon there. Th this is working out pretty good. Okay, we just need one more prize, guys. Baltar. Alright, what are you gonna do, Isaac? Oh, I like the booze! Aw, oh, potion, huh? You better have a defender too, buddy. Tackle, push off. That's not gonna be good enough, Isaac. That's not gonna be good enough, because guess what? I throw this fire on Charmeleon, and we use a lane thrower once again. <laughs> Say goodbye to your Voltar. Give me that master metal, buddy. Another fire. Man, we had like almost all fires in our prize pile, which is good, because uh, we were kind of low on energy to start. My lightning, how can my lightning deck loose? How shocking. Oh man, a lightning gem using a shocking pun. Here, take this lightning medal as proof of defeating me. We got the lightning, Mr. Metal. Okay. And here, take this booster pack too. Mystery, uh, okay. Right, ooh, look at this one. Yeah, 90 HP, Giga Shock, for energy. Uh, does 30 damage, and then you choose... See, I like this one better than that um, Mystery Zapdos. Because with uh, Giga Shock, you choose three of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and this attack does 10 damage to each of them. So, yeah, I mean, I like that it's guaranteed, and it doesn't damage yourself. And if your opponent has fewer than three bench Pokemon, do the damage to each of them. Yeah, I like this a lot better than that Zapdos. It costs the same, you know, four energy, but you don't hurt yourself, and Raichu's get a little more HP, so... My podium, All right, Drowsy. All righty, and we get one more. Ooh, yes, Lapras. Nice, nice. That's going in our flood deck. That's going in our flood deck, as you guys know. Let's get this thing as tanky. Right done. Meow. Pikachu. Maldar. Drowsy again. All right, yeah. Polish your card skills and then do this again. Okay, well, with that being said, let's actually head on out of here. Take any new mail. 
Mm, no. Okay. But uh, let me grab a drink here real quick. And uh, basically for the rest of this episode, I think I'm just gonna kind of edit my dick. And uh, yeah. So let me grab a drink here real quick. <sighs> okay. Yeah, and I might as well do this on screen. You know, I don't really have any other plans for this episode. So, I might as well do this here. So, well, I guess that is something that I could do here. So, now that I just thought of. Uh, we can go put in the uh, Master Metal that we just got. So, let's go to the laboratory. And I can show you guys the decks that are uh, activated. So, we go over here. Lightning Metal. Oh, I guess they right the first time this time. Yeah, and so it's the Lightning Metal. So, check it out. Um... <clears throat> So, these are the decks that the club, uh, Lightning Club used. This is obviously Isaac's, uh, uh, ooh, yeah, a lot of Magneton. Oh, yeah, those Electaba is so good. He has two Kangaskhan. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good lineup, honestly. Yeah, so there's, uh, Isaac's deck. Uh, this deck, uh, a deck of cute Pokemon such as Pikachu and Eevee. Huh. Uh, a lot of Pikachus in this deck. Is this, uh, Jennifer's deck? Because she did use, like, a lot of Pikachus. Uh, Clefairy, okay. No, I, we didn't see her use Jigglypuff, so maybe this is just a kind of a random deck. Uh, Yellow Flash deck. Let's see this one. Uh, okay. Okay, this one seems to be, just have basically, like, a little bit of every Lightning Pokemon, including some Eevees. Uh, what about Poke Flute deck? Hmm, interesting. Use the Poke Flute to revive your opponent's Pokemon and attack. Interesting. Kind of a mix of a water and lightning deck. Okay. It's got this kind of right shoe. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense because that one can use colorless. Yeah, this Electabuzz is so good. It's even got Raditz and Raticate in there. Okay, that's interesting deck. Uh, Electric Shock deck. Uh, is this Jennifer's Pikachu deck? Uh, maybe. No, 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 this one has, like, Magnemites and stuff, too. Um, Bold Sword? Okay, Zapdos. A couple Porygon. Ah, to change the weakness. Yeah, that is a good call. Because some Pokemon, uh, do resist, uh, Electric in this game, so... Uh, okay, so with that being done... Let's see, let me... S well, no, 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 let me edit my decks first. So, let's edit the Oasis deck, the Floodmon 14 deck. Uh, okay. Wait, why do I have three Blastoise in here? Oh, wait, do I have Pokemon Breeder? That's probably why. Pokemon Breeder. I do. Okay. All right, well, we did get another Lapras, which is very, very good. Um, four Krabby, one Kingler. Okay. Oh, now we got two Lapras. That's good. That's very good. Okay, Articuno. Okay, so I'll probably take out one of the Cuddleless Pokemon. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I'll probably take out Lapras for Tauros, honestly. Um, I'm guessing the Lightning is like Surfing Pikachu. Right, right, okay, okay. Yeah, and I like having a Lightning Pokemon. I mean, it just helps us cover different weaknesses, so. Uh, is there any other, like, weak water Pokemon I have in here? I like all the Krabbies, of course, because it has Copper Family. Um, not really, no. This is the good Vaporeon, right? Right, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll take it out for Tauros, I guess. Alright, sorry Tauros, see ya. But uh, you have helped us quite a bit, so I appreciate it. Okay, we'll save that. And uh, maybe I'll start building that, uh, that Lightning deck I was talking about. So, let's save like the Nitto Family deck. Uh, let's also save the, yeah, Flood Oasis deck. Yeah, it's okay. Save over that. Okay. And then we'll save over the Nido Family deck. Because I think we... Yeah, we'll delete that one, probably. So, yeah, let's delete this deck. Dismantle. Okay. Yeah, and I might as well work on this on screen, like I said. So, uh, let's look at the trainers first. Okay. One Professor Oak, two Bills, um, and I do want the Zapdos, so I need Defender in here, which I normally don't put, but, uh, yeah. two Defender, okay, two Super Potion, um, we have only one Oak, so two Gambler, 
Uh, do I have Switch? Because Zapdos also has a really high retreat cost. So Switch is honestly pretty good in this deck. Don't have any more computer searches. Okay, we have one Switch. Okay. Do I have Scoop though? No. Okay. Alright. So let's also put a couple energy retrieval. That's always good. Okay. Um, anything else I want to put in here? Uh, maybe for the last two trainer spots, I'll just I'll just put Gambler. Uh, yeah, until we get more Professor Oaks. I like Professor Oaks more because it's a guarantee. Uh, yeah, and we need another Switch card too for this deck, so... Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe one Gust of Wind, and then one, uh, Gambler? That sounds good. Okay, and then we'll fill it with Lightning Energy. Um, for like, mm, round 25? Do I have any double colas? I do have four. Oh, I might want to check my uh, fire deck, too, to see if I can add some double colorless to that. Uh, let's just go with 25 and, like, 2? Yeah. Okay, any good colorless Pokemon we got here? Uh, actually, a good idea for a uh, lightning deck um, is... Um, you know what? Maybe we'll put this in... I'm not sure if I have Fero in any other decks, but uh, let's do this. Let's put in Force Fero. Two Fero because uh, yeah, Spe the Spiro line does resist fighting, which is normally your weakness. So there we go. And uh, uh, I'll check between episodes if I have like Spiro Fero in a different deck, then I'll switch to the Pidgeot line just to mix it up. You know. Um, any other good basics? Uh, Lickitung's pretty solid, so let's put in Lickitung. Okay. And unfortunately, I would do the Dragonite line. But uh, I've only got like one Dratini, one Dragonair. Not ideal. Okay, then let's go over to the Electrics. Obviously, we want four of the good Zapdos. Nope, the good one. Two, three, four. Okay. Uh, Jolteon's also pretty solid. Ah, okay. Uh, we can throw this Electabuzz in. Um, yeah, maybe we'll go... Because I only have seven spots left. Maybe we'll go EV Jolteon. The Magneton cards are also interesting. I do like that Sonic Boom doesn't count for resistance. Um, hmm. Flying Pikachu is also good because it resists fighting, so we'll put that in. Um, I could also go for Pikachu Raichu. Um, yeah, and I did say I like the Giga Shock. Hmm. Uh, which line do I want to go with? Pikachu Raichu, Magnemite, Magneton, or or uh, Jolteon? Um, tell you what, we do have like a, a couple of promo Pikachus that I haven't shown off, so we'll put one of this, mm, two of this, one of this one, and then I'll throw in two Raichus. Uh, this one has Thunder as well, and Agility. Oh, and you can use the Double Colorless. Okay, okay. Maybe I should throw in just two of this Raichu, because it can make use of the Double Colorless I put in. Uh... No, let's do one of each. One of each. There we go. Okay, and we'll name it... Uh... We'll name it Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt did. Thunder... Bolts. T. Yeah, and we'll just throw in some pluses just to be epic. Thunderbolt deck. There we go. And we'll throw in an exclamation point too. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's save that. And, um, what time are we at? Oh, okay. I think we're at about 30 minutes or so. So, I think what I'll do here... I'll just kind of wrap up the episode. Um, let's save this uh, lightning deck to the deck machine. Um, and then the, I'll end the episode right here, guys. And in the next episode, um, I think we'll just kind of go around. Uh, we'll do some random people. Uh, probably people who give out the Coliseum pack, because I'd like some more Professor Oaks. Uh, but the main thing we're going to be doing, we're just going to test our Thunderbolt deck. Um, yeah, yeah, we're just going to kind of do some random people. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys all next time. Have a good day.
Thanks for watching.